So, day one over in Walsall Wood. New first day heat pump job. Yeah, hopefully, it shouldn't be too bad. Customer's already got Mixer G cylinder, um, which we're going to link on to. Get rid of the old fossil fuel boiler. Just starting to get the base ready now. Um, yeah, hopefully, shouldn't be too bad. Obviously, we're going to be heat pump there, pipe work going up across there. That window there is the hallway, pipe work all going down that through somewhere about there, um, across and then to the left, which should pick up the cylinder cupboard. Three radiator changes on this job. Um, the guy's already pretty future proof most of his house with radiator changes just a couple of upgrades um so yeah connecting onto mixergy cylinder <laughs> so yeah uh, as i was explaining yeah customer already has a mixergy cylinder working off his gas boiler at the minute so we will be connecting our heat pump to that with the heat pump kit and the mixergy heat pump interface um first one for me fix uh, fitting um, an OEM open energy monitor on this one so that will be interesting to see obviously we've got it's gonna be a 7 kilowatt heat pump so 28 mil circs from there to the airing cupboard and maybe about three meters of 28 to upgrade um, the pipe work just to give enough flow um, to a couple of the bigger radiators so yeah day one uh, gonna get the base ready um, and then, uh, yeah, hopefully heat pump turns up today and then we're all good. Okay, so what time is it now? Jeez, can't even believe it's the time. What time is it? Off five. There we go. Heat pump base done. Drying, ready for a heat pump in a couple of days' time. So, uh, day two, um, heat pump insulation, 7 kilowatt, over in water wood. Um, base is ready. Got our primaries starting to go in ready. And we're back here on Monday to put the heat pump in position, finish the bits around there, make that nice around the, uh, the heat pump base, and then do the internals and the electric so yeah um, not quite as nice a day as it was yesterday get all this tidied up and then uh yeah get onto the internal primary pipe work so end of day two well we've got to a point where um we're ready for the changeover which we're doing next week on monday so we'll go from gas boiler um and then do the changeover to the heat pump fans a bit of a bit of a disaster zone now um, so yeah, get tomorrow, get that sorted out. So yeah, making good progress. Electricians here on Monday. Um, they'll start doing their obviously electrics, new mini fuse board for that. Um, and then yeah, by hopefully by the end of the Monday, we should be ready to fill up. Um, yeah, making good progress. So day five, forgot to record days three and four. Uh, not quite finished setting up the open energy monitor yet in the heat pump interface part um yeah just doing that now and had a little bit of an issue with flow rate um just turned out to be um yeah a little bit of jointing combiner got down um into the strainer um and yeah i was getting 800 liters an hour which is a, a scary thing for any heat pump installer but yeah as you can see now we've got really good flow rate going through the system um so we'll probably back off the uh, REMS pump head and see if we can get that down to the heat loss, which I think on this one's about 7.56 kilowatts. So it's probably gonna, yeah, 
about 1200, 1230 litres an hour, I think, from the mass. So, yeah, always, uh, always a you know, real sort of good feeling when you get that. Um, yeah, now that the system is designed and working the way it should be. So, day five, we have now completed installation. Okay, and we have our, there we go, light on. Got some lots of cables. We have our mixer G cylinder with solder divert. So this was obviously all done beforehand, and all we've done is brought our primaries from our heat pump. Obviously, we've got our open energy monitor there. But yeah, so we've got our primary flow coming up here into our plate heat exchanger. Um, everything is wired pretty much the same as it would be normally for a valence setup. Only difference being the um, hot water cylinder sensor that wires into the heat pump interface wires directly into the heat pump interface. So this controls the hot water temperature. The valent doesn't really know what the temperature is. The the mixer G sort of interface will give. Um, a call for heat so it will tell the valent you know uh, the story's at 21 degrees regardless of what the temperature is and then it'll give it a, a sort of another signal when it gets up to temperature that it's satisfied um, obviously the mixer G is where the temperature is actually set um, so yeah just just slightly different different setup um, and then yeah obviously diverter will power over this pump will come on and then that will start pumping into the cylinder um, and this has got from I think it took about 35 minutes to go from about 20 20 degrees um, up to yeah a full tank of full tank of water which I think they got up to 62 degrees so um, I'm pretty happy with that we've got some good flow rates going through the system so yeah um, got our open energy monitor I know it's a bit of a mess at the minute cabling um not sure how to sort of tidy it all up it is yeah just a bundle of cables but yeah that's now online so uh yeah we can watch and see how um how it's operating one slight issue it's not it's not reading um it's not reading flow rate and apparently it's saying there's there's air in the system well the system's been running for a few hours now um so yeah i don't know if anybody's had the same or you know maybe we've missed something so yeah if anybody's had that um on these uh, open energy i'll speak to open energy find out a little bit more um yeah just to see but yeah happy um everything up and running um happy customer so quick overview of this job uh in Warsaw Wood. um as you can see seven kilowatt Aratherm Plus over there, 28 mil primaries all the way to the airing cupboard. Above there was the old boiler. So this customer has solar panels as well. So now doesn't have any fossil fuels whatsoever. So he's got rid of, um, or he will be getting rid of his gas meter. So no more standing charges. And yes, in its place, you have this. So we're getting some really good flow rates, um, 1200 litres per hour, as you would expect um, for a seven kilowatt. Primary run on this, probably about another eight and, yeah, about eight metres flow, eight metres return from that point behind me um, up to the scene. Now we have open energy monitor on this, so you'll be able to see the data. And this one, there was already a cylinder installed, the mixer G. Um, um, obviously we've connected it to the mixer G cylinder using their heat pump kit and their heat pump interface which um, from initial uh, commissioning and setting up works really really well um, the hot water sensor goes from the heat pump interface to the um, mixer G heat pump interface control um, and then basically that sends a, a dummy signal so the diverter motors over the SB diverter motors over to hot water um, and then once the store is satisfied it sends another dummy signal back to the violent um, so the violent doesn't know actually what the temperature is it, that's all controlled from the mixer G um, it goes through a plate heat exchanger powers a pump goes through the store 
and then obviously once the ceiling just satisfied it all motor back over again so really really clever setup quite impressed uh, it's really cold today um, and we're getting sort of a scop of 3.4 obviously we've only been running for you know maybe five five hours um, on a cold day heat pumps pretty pretty steady um, so yeah overall really really happy with the uh, job um, if anybody's got a mixed cylinder out there um, or anybody's you know going to do that in the future any advice or tips uh, give me a shout uh, same with the um, open energy monitor looks like there's a lot of cables and a lot to connect but actually it's quite straightforward when you break it down um, and yeah once you can as soon as you connect it it's straight away the data is online at open energy monitor um, and the guys there and at mixer are really really helpful um, so yeah Overall, really pleased. Glad to get this one under my belt.